What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and today we'll be talking about the five things you could start doing today to get quicker results. No, there is no magic pill or overnight success, but, but there are five things you can start doing today that will kind of launch you in the right direction to getting to where you want to be. Let's get started. Number one, have a plan. Without a plan, you fail. I feel like a lot of people do random ass workouts online where they find them on YouTube or Google and they don't actually have a plan. So if you are one of those people who has no plan and you're kind of just doing X, Y, and Z, whatever day you feel like it, you're not going to get where you wanna go because you're not going to be able to actually track week to week if you're getting better. So you need a plan. You need an actual schedule of workouts of what you're doing and you need to make sure that you're getting better every single week. Without that, you're, I'm telling you, you won't get the results you're looking for. That's why I have my app, Fit Method, because I give people a plan. There's a six week strength program, there's a 28 day hit program, a resistance program, a booty program. You need some sort of program to keep you on track. You get my drift? Number two is progressive overload. I feel like progressive overload and having a plan go hand in hand. Because with progressive overload, you need a plan because you don't even know where you're starting. So let's say you're doing 10 pound weights one week and you're continuing to do 10 pound weights the second, third, fourth week, you're not doing progressive overload. Progressive overload is meaning, progressive overload means that you get better every single week you're getting stronger every single week. You're using higher weight every single week. You're pushing yourself further every single week. Your workouts are more intense every single week. You have to make sure that you're constantly progressing because if not, then you're gonna plateau and stay stagnant of where you are. Three is consistency. It is actually key. I know it sounds so cliche, but it's the truth. If you are not consistent with your workouts and you're not showing up for yourself week after week, you're not going to see results. You can't work out one day a week and think that you're going to see some results, right? It's a great starting place for sure. But if you start one day a week, then you need to make that goal to do two, three days a week and stay consistent with it. So make sure you are consistent with your workouts. Schedule them in your planner, wherever you have your schedule, Google Calendar, and make sure you're scheduling three to four days of workout days. And if it's non-negotiable, you're going to stay consistent with your workouts. Number four is rest days. Now, rest days are really important, guys. I was that girl that burnt out because I thought I needed to work out seven days a week. That is not the case. And honestly, working out more on a certain muscle group will not make you grow more. I was working like legs out four times a week thinking, oh my God, my legs are going to grow more and more and more, but they didn't. In fact, I actually injured myself because I wasn't taking the rest days I needed. Your muscles need to rest and recover is really important. So on your days off, make sure you're stretching, doing yoga, walking, like don't do anything crazy. Make sure you're giving the muscles it needs to actually recover. And last but not least, nutrition. As a clinical nutritionist, nutrition is probably one of the most important things that you cannot overlook when you're trying to get results. Because yes, cliche, abs remain in the kitchen. It's the truth. You can't be working out in the gym or at home or whatever you're doing and then eating like shit in the kitchen and expecting to lose weight and tone up. You can't do it. You gotta make sure that you're nourishing your body with the right nutrients and all the good macronutrients, right? Your protein, carbs, and fats. So make sure that you're doing good in the kitchen as much as you're doing well in your workouts. That is really important and it takes me back to consistency. Can't say that word still. But it takes me back there because you have to be consistent with your eating. If you're not consistent with your eating, then it does not matter how consistent you are with your workouts, right? I'm telling you guys, 85% of your results is going to come from the kitchen. I hope this video was helpful. These are five things that I wish I knew when I was first starting out my fitness journey. So if you guys like this video, please let me know. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, comment below, and let me know. Show me some love, guys. Until next time, stay fit.